Hi, this is Brad Wilson with King Manufacturing. I want to make this quick and easy for you to figure out how to do a heat loss calculation for your home. Because it can be complicated and you can do all the forms and all the calculations, but I'm going to make it cut and dried for you. It's very important to know how much watt loss is within a space. So you've got windows, which are the highest heat loss, your ceiling and your walls. And you could either calculate all those out or use our simple rule of thumb. So with a well-insulated home made within the last 10 years, you only need about five watts a square foot. That way the heater will run for a longer time and keep just nice, smooth, even heat coming into the room and keep maintain a, a good temperature. Now uh, in an older home, uh, say like 15 to 20 years, you need about seven and a half watts a square foot of floor area where you have a little less insulation, thinner windows, uh, past 1980, where you have very little insulation, you're going to need about 10 to 12 watts a square foot. So, and up in the mountains where you have snow and constant cold, you're going to need 12 to 15 at the most if you're up around 5,000 uh, feet elevation. But that's all it is. Just go in your room, 10 by 10, it's 100 square feet times 5, you got 500 watts. That's as simple as it is. Just, it's easy. Don't complicate it. If you've got bigger windows in that room, you know, add a few more watts. And what's great is that the, the pick a watt allows you to adjust the wattage up or down. So if you've made a mistake, you don't have to take it back to the store. You can just adjust the wattage up or down to get the right heat for that room.